Hi guys, Mr. Newmobile here. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 launched, release date and specs. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 offers the most upgrades we've ever seen from one phone generation to the next, and for $2,000 it needs them all. As impressive as the original Galaxy Fold was, remember, it was the first truly viable foldable phone, Samsung's phone had lots of flaws, from questionable durability and a tiny front display to number 5G and a big notch. The best phones right now. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Review. Samsung has addressed all of these issues with the Galaxy Z Fold 2, while adding other welcome upgrades, including better multitasking, and an innovative flex mode that helps you get more out of this foldable. The Galaxy Z Fold 2's cameras are not as advanced as the Galaxy Note 20 Ultras, and you don't get an S Pen, but overall the Galaxy Z Fold 2 does a much better job this time around of justifying Samsung's very high asking price. The Galaxy features larger cover and main displays, measuring 6.2 inches and 7.6 inches, respectively. The main display now uses ultra-thin glass, and the hideaway hinge uses sweeper technology to keep away debris. The front cover uses Gorilla Glass Victus. A cam mechanism allows you to open the Z Fold 2 at various angles and enjoy new flex mode software experiences that make the most of the phone's large canvas. Multitasking is improved with multi-active window, letting you quickly create app pairs to launch instantly, and it's easier to rearrange open apps in different layouts. A faster Snapdragon 865 Plus processor, 5G connectivity and larger 4500 mAh battery are among the biggest spec upgrades. The triple 12 mp rear cameras are not as advanced as Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, but features like auto framing can help keep subjects in the frame and dual preview let subjects see themselves as you're shooting. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 has a release date of September 18 and pre-orders begin September 2. Samsung is pricing the Galaxy Z Fold 2 at $199 with 256GB of storage and 12GB of RAM. Note that a Micros card slot is not included, and there are no other capacities available. Original Galaxy Fold owners can trade in their device for up to an $800 value. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 will be available through all of the major carriers, including AT&T, Verizon and T-Mobile, Sprint, as well as Unlocked. Samsung will also be offering a Galaxy Z Premier service for the Z Fold 2, which includes on-demand concierge support from dedicated experts. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 immediately makes a better impression than the Galaxy Fold because of its larger exterior display. You no longer feel like you're operating Android through a peephole, and that's because the cover screen has grown from 4.6 inches to 6.2 inches. The interior display is also bigger at 7.6 inches for the Galaxy Z Fold 2, compared to 7.3 inches for the previous model. Even better, the ugly notch on the main screen is gone, replaced by a small cutout for a selfie camera. Samsung also made several enhancements for the Galaxy durability and usability. This includes a sturdier new ultra-thin glass display, which is designed to provide a better touchscreen feel than the plastic screen fold, and a hideaway hinge that uses sweeper technology to prevent dust and dirt from entering the phone. Similar to the Galaxy Z Flip 5G, the Galaxy Z Fold 2's hinge uses a cam mechanism that allows you to position the screen in multiple positions. And while there's still a gap between the two sides of the phone when closed, it's narrower than before. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 comes in two colors, Mystic Bronze and Mystic Black. But you'll be able to add some flair in the form of four hinge color options, if you order through Samsung.com. Options include Metallic Silver, Metallic Gold, Metallic Red and Metallic Blue. Measuring 6.2 by 2.6 by 0.66 inches, when closed and 6.2 by 5 by 0.27 inches when open, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 is slightly shorter but wider than its predecessor. It's also heavier, as the Z Fold 2 weights 9.9 .9 ounces, compared to 9.48 ounces. In addition to a larger size, the 7.6-inch main display on the Galaxy Z Fold 2 boasts a 120Hz refresh rate, so you should enjoy smooth scrolling and overall performance, compared to the 60Hz rate on the Galaxy Fold. Plus, because the panel is adaptive, it's smart enough to dial the rate down or up based on the content on screen. The cover display on the Galaxy Z Fold 2 does not offer a 120Hz refresh rate, but it's still a heck of a lot better than what the first Fold featured. Measuring 6.2 inches, this OLED screen is big enough to perform pretty much any task, and you can still instantly resume what you were doing on the main display when you unfold the device. It's a bit strange to say this, but the $2,000 Galaxy Z Fold 2 represents a step down from the $1,300 Galaxy Note 20 when it comes to the cameras. 
You don't get a 108 MP main sensor, a 5x optical zoom or a 50x base zoom, but you do get three capable shooters you can use in a variety of ways. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 features a 12MP main wide-angle camera, a 12MP Ultra really starts with the camera features that are unique to the Galaxy Z Fold 2. For example, dual preview lets subjects see how they're going to look using the front display while you're taking the shot. You can also take higher quality selfies with the rear cameras. Thanks to flex mode, you can prop up the Galaxy Z Fold 2 in what looks like laptop mode, and it will keep your subject in focus using a feature called auto framing. Another perk is Capture View Mode, which lets you review up to 5 recent pictures on the bottom half of the screen, while maintaining the live preview in the top half. One of the complaints we had about the Galaxy Fold is that many of the apps just felt like blow-up phone apps in tablet mode. But Samsung is addressing this drawback with the Galaxy Z Fold 2. For example, Microsoft Office takes advantage of the larger aspect ratio and provides a toolbar with access to deeper features. Samsung also promises an optimized viewing experience in Gmail, YouTube and Spotify on the foldable. The Galaxy Z Fold 2's flex mode gives this foldable phone a lot of versatility. The idea is that you can have controls or settings on one side of video call, gallery, video player, clock and calendar. And Google is supporting flex mode with YouTube and Google Duo. Samsung is working with third-party developers as well to create flex mode optimized apps. Another key Galaxy Z Fold 2 upgrade is multitasking. With the improved multi-active window feature, you can open up to three apps at the same time and can quickly create presets called app pairs that you launch with just a tap. You can also drag and drop content from one window to another, such as images from your gallery. Multiple Samsung apps support drag and drop, as does Microsoft 365, Gmail, Chrome and Google Maps. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 sports a Snapdragon 865 Plus processor, along with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage, UFS 3.1. So we would expect similar performance to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. In terms of 5G, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 supports both Wave and Sub 6G HC flavors, so you should have no problems tapping into 5G networks where there is coverage. Because the Z Fold includes the Note 20 Ultra. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 packs a 4500mAh battery, which should be able to get you through most of the day. The Galaxy Fold had a slightly smaller 4380mAh, so this is a step up. The Z Fold 2 supports 25W fast charging, as well as fast wireless charging and PowerShare reverse charging. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 is the quintessential example of a company listening to its customers and delivering a wide range of improvements they asked for. At $2,000, this is a phone that's still very much for early adopters, but the Z Fold 2 seems a lot less like a prototype and more like a thoughtful evolution of an exciting new foldable phone category. The front display on the Fold 2 alone is a huge upgrade, and it looks like Samsung is working with Google and its partners to deliver better software experiences. Having a phone that transforms into a tablet also how well the flex mode, optimized apps and multi-active window improvements work will go a long way towards making the Z Fold 2 more than a mere luxury item for show-offs. We look forward to testing the Galaxy Z Fold 2 to see if all the upgrades pay off. That is just the latest update about Z Fold 2. Well having been said, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video.